Welcome back to my channel. This week we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be making two garments for me to wear in New York City. The first is going to be a black walking skirt based off of the black snail pattern walking skirt pattern and the second is going to be the American Duchess cape. Yes, I did just join the cape cult. I hope you're ready for this. So we're going to start with making a black walking skirt because I feel like that this piece is going to be the most versatile for my wardrobe in general. I'm going to get you real close on this cotton that I have purchased. It's got this like nice little like, I don't know, circular design to it. I, I think it like, to me it kind of looks like the inside of a computer or like what you would like, I don't know, whatever. It looks like data or whatever. It's cool. I like it, but also when you get like this far out, it just kind of looks black or like a really like faded black, which I like. So this is going to be the first piece I make because it's the most versatile. I am using the black snail pattern. This is uh, their fan skirt pattern, their 1890 fan skirt. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to do this full length and I am going to basically add a half an inch to all these sides because when I originally cut this out, I cut it out at a size that I thought was my size. It ended up being too small. It's NBD. I'm not going to add plackets. I am just going to add a zipper and snaps at the waistband. I am not using the waistband um, pattern piece because I don't have it. <laughs> and I'm not going to print out an entire pattern just for waistband. So we're just going to make that up. And I'm going to flatline this cotton with a dark green that I've had in my stash. So I think that'll be great. If it is seen, it's seen. I'm going to use horsehair braid at the bottom. It's going to have pockets and I think that's everything. I'm just going to start making stuff and kind of tell you what I'm doing and show you the best I can. Okay, sounds great. All right, so I know that I am supposed to hand baste these together, like down the middle and, you know, close to the side and stuff, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna pin the crap out of it. Here you go, look at all my pins. And I'm gonna take it over to my serger and serge this. And then I'm gonna repeat this step with the other four panels. And uh, we will get ready to sew these panels together, question mark, maybe. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so all of the panels are now sewn together. So, and it is a little after six, so I am calling it for the night, but I just wanna tell you guys something absolutely hilarious. So I was working on this, right? And my partner comes in to talk to me and we, he's like, oh, I love the color that you chose for this. Like, it's really beautiful. And I was like, which one do you think it is? Like, the, you might be talking about the inside. And he's like, no, I know it was the outside. It was the green. <laughs> <laughs> but the green is the inside. I knew he was gonna love the green. It's just so funny to me. I was like, I know you think the green is the outside, but it is not. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you all. Um, I'm gonna go uh, downstairs and have some dinner, and tomorrow I'm going to put the zipper in, put the waistband in, and do the hem. And the hem we're gonna do um, horsehair braid. Uh, so that'll be a fun little thing and we will have a skirt finish tomorrow. That's exciting. Woohoo! Hello friends! It is now Wednesday and basically I got my booster shot on Monday and yesterday I was pretty out of it so I couldn't really sew and I did spend a lot of time researching stuff for Glinda. If you are interested in the Glinda build, I actually have over on my Patreon an entire Discord uh, channel in our server based on making her and my research on her. So if you are interested in that kind of content, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Cosplay. Any of the memberships will get you access to this little like Glinda build 
channel and it has all of my research. I found some really cool stuff. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, yesterday I spent a lot of money on fabric for Glinda and here we are. So I am a day behind. We're going to figure out ways to pick it up this, like pick up the pace basically. But today what I would like to get done is I would like to get the machine sewing for the waistband and the horsehair braid and the like zipper in the back seam done. Then all of the hand sewing I can do during the night during DD. &D. I don't know if I'll finish it during DD, &D, um, but I'll, I'll figure it out from there. Then I'd also today like to read over everything for the cape, print off the cape pattern, and um, let's get going on it, honestly. And that's my goal for the day. And that means tomorrow and Friday I'll have to do like 100% focus on the cape so that I can get it done. I'm also being really kind to myself and allowing myself to do any hand sewing I need to on Saturday while I'm recovering from my 20 mile run. So that's the plan. And our goal and our mantra for the next three days is work smart, not smart. Wow. The goal or the mantra for the next three days is work smart, not hard and not smart either. Smart. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, so I have the horsehair braid pinned in. I also have my waistband, if I can get around to it, pinned in. My zipper is done, the back seam is done, and basically this is ready for hand sewing. So I'm gonna take a small break to read everything I need to about the, um, the cape and make some decisions and get going on that. Like I said, I'm gonna be sewing these, um, like hand stitching this at night. So we don't really have a lot to worry about right now. And uh, I'll check in with you once I've had a game plan for the cape. All right, so I printed off the like smaller scale version. I just like to have it on my desk. It's easier for me. Uh, and this is the two pieces. This is a free pattern and I will link it below so that you can have it too. And then this is my fabric. This will be my lining fabric. This is the Alphaba Dupioni. No, it's not. It's the Alphaba Taffeta from Silk Baron. And this is actually the leftovers from my pumpkin dress, if you remember that. It was like the detailing in the stomacher on my pumpkin dress. And there was a little over two yards left. And so I bought this wool blend. It's not real, it's like polyester. I don't know what it is, honestly, but I bought it to go with it because I really, yes, I'm a Slytherin and, and silver and green look great together, but I also just really loved this fabric in general as a top fabric. I feel like I can match a lot of things with it. And then this will be the inside contrasting. So I'm pretty excited, uh, especially because the inside of the gown, oh, you can't even tell. Well, the inside of the dress is, gr the dress, the skirt is green, but, I don't have a lot of green in my, my wardrobe, so I'd ha I have to be really picky and choosy what I wear with this. So yeah, I'm excited. Now let's get some paper and start plotting this out. All right, friends, so here we are. I am, I have a whole pattern done. And today, basically, all I wanna get done, because I have meetings and things, um, so, and I started a little bit late today, so I really just wanna get my iron, my iron, my fabric ironed, which I didn't even plug the iron in. I'll get there. Um, my fabric cut, I would like to get the darts 
done, so the front panel um, darted and done, sewn to this, and maybe the collar done. Um, I wrote down like on my to-do list kind of the order that I want to do this based off of the steps. So I think my goal was to get to step six, seven, whatever step is the last step for the collar. So we're going to try that. Um, I'm going to keep both of these sheets and all of this and put it away when I'm done. But for now I'm going to keep it out. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think I can finish this. Tomorrow just might be a little bit of a longer sewing day. I have a 6.30 p.m. meeting tomorrow and I might have to work a little bit after that to get all of this done. The skirt is almost on hand sewn. After my 5.30 meeting today, I'm gonna try and um, get the skirt hem finished and then sew in snaps and it'll be done. I, I'm confident, I feel good, I feel good. Okay, this tree right here. Look at those beautiful colors and the leaves are falling and like, it's like kind of like a little barren, but like also, I don't know, there's just something so beautiful and magical about it. And then this tree over here, I can't, I just really forgot like how beautiful Georgia is in the fall. Like that yellow one behind this big one here, so pretty. Anyway, just sharing you some trees. Okay, so the last thing that I was able to finish yesterday was just getting the darts on the front pieces and then like trimming and pressing them. Um, and so there's that piece and the two green pieces. Uh, this is my lining. Um, and then I also last night finished the sewing in the horsehair braid and then the, um, the waistband. I do need to add snaps to the waistband and I completely forgot how low the pockets sit on this. I really need to write like somewhere on this pattern to raise the pockets because they're really low. Like it'll be fine, but it's one of those things where it's like almost uncomfortably low in my opinion, um, but it's fine. Like they have pockets, they're there. So uh, now I'm gonna just try to whip up this cape. It is Friday. I have until basically six o'clock today. I have a meeting at 6.30. So I'm gonna try to bust out this cape. Um, it's 9.20 right now, so yeah, the first step is to sew these to the back pieces, um, and then we're gonna do, I think, the shoulder piece, which is like this cool curved piece over here. This will get stitched down into that, or onto the other pieces, and then the collar. So if I can get the collar done before lunchtime, I'll feel like I'm in a pretty good place. Okay, so I'm about to go grab some lunch, but look at this collar! Look at it! Oh my goodness, okay. And look at how this is draping. So the next step is to sew the, um, the wool blend lining to the lining, <laughs> the outer fabric to the lining with the right sides together with a gap at the bottom and then hand, like, flip, turn, hand stitch, yada yada. So I honestly think, like, after lunch, I'm gonna be able to get this done in about under two hours because I have to hand sew the bottom edge closed not the whole thing just like the five inches that I leave open and then I'll have to um hand sew hooks in this once I put it like I'll put it on and like mark where my hooks go and then it's done so I think two hours is all I'm gonna need which is amazing and so then maybe I can get some fun little twirl videos in I don't know we're gonna we're gonna save the good reveal until New York I'm so excited. I love this color so much. I love this collar. Oh my gosh. 